What's going on YouTube family? We are here at the Point Defiance Park and we decided to take a day of this holiday weekend and as a family go hiking. It's actually something we've never done before but I think we're gonna do more of it because they already are having a blast here at the park or at the, the trails. Tell me what you think so far about this place. I want to climb on everything. That's why you love it? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna make the best of this day because it's really fun and I hope you guys enjoy some of the beautiful scenery around us it's literally feels like a little bit closer to God's heart because this is beautiful I think this is just what happens on no, this is not the right family hikes. One. You go a little too far, Mama, little Mama, ones get a little tired. Like Ollie, but, are you a little tired? Yeah. You don't want to walk anymore? So now, mom and dad have to carry Mama, twice the load. Like There's a deer! You just. You,
Okay, let's go. Finley, that was fighting. You walk right past it. Hey, Charlie. Hi, buddy. Oh, what is it that way? Say, say hi, camera. Okay, but ow! Are you on daddy's shoulders? No, oh, wait. No. Ow. No. We, Finny just walked like feet from a deer and didn't even see it. It's so funny. Ow, ow, ow. We finally made it out of the woods. Because of me. Because Finny helped us find the way. We did it. We took the long way around, but Finny was so big on his seven and a half year birthday, decided he would take the lead and we found the car. Woo! So that's cool. Exactly. Oh, that's fast! So, surprise, Finny got something cool today. <gasps> oh, so Charlie, what did you, you get today? Oh. What? How did you both get scooters? Awesome. And what did you do? Right, it's probably right. So, Dad, we're we're gonna probably have watermelon tonight. Watermelon? Yeah. Oh, actually, what, what are we gonna have for dinner? What are we gonna have for dinner? I want dinner. We had originally maybe planned to go somewhere. Maybe we'll still. Uh, Let's go see. somewhere. Can we go to uh, a place that has orange chicken? I love orange chicken. Oh, oh whoa. So, busy day today, a long day actually. We started off early. And I saved mom and dad from the maze. Tell us, maze, well no, it was, we went hiking today. Yeah, and then, and then, when we were in the forest, we got kind of lost until I saved the day. Ranger Finney. Ranger Finney, so we did, we got kind of lost because. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of second borns in our family, let's put it that way. And so we just like to like, oh, let's go this way, and oh, let's go that way. And we didn't know how to get back to our car. Yeah, but I showed it. I was tired. The one firstborn we have in our family helped us escape the uh, jungle and have to stay there all night long. And guess what? Charles was freaking out like crazy. Yeah, I was freaking out! First time hiking ever. Yeah. And oh, would oh. you would you go again? Yeah. Yeah. So Fiddy's gonna um, become our forest ranger and tell people where to go, and and then find them and then save them. He could be either oh, a forest ranger going? or a search and rescue. Where are we going? But I want to be a forest ranger. Very good. Good yeah, because you said I want a scooter, and then all of a sudden we found a garage sale, the last one of the last garage sales we went to, and we happened to find a green one with blue wheels. It's kind of ooh, it's kind of like a Seahawks. Scooter. Oh, I got a hell. Oh, there's a lower over there. Let's try and figure out how good these kids are. Ouch! On their scooters. Let's do this. Let's Hey guys, so I just wanted to close out this video for today. It was an, a very eventful day. We had a great time. It was very packed full of excitement and you know, we've never been hiking with the boys before. Uh, just getting out there, enjoying the beautiful 
forest. I mean, it was a gorgeous day today. We had a blast and, and just, I don't know, like experiencing going kind of outside of our comfort zone because obviously with having four kids, you could easily just kind of be, you know, talk yourself out of doing things like that, especially having kids at this, at this age. And so it was kind of a push uh, for us to, you know, we should step out of our comfort zone because we're dreaming over our family of what kind of stuff we want to do. And so things like that, if you're dreaming over it, we just got to push yourself to do it and watch how beautiful it is when you actually do it. And then after that, we were able to go explore some garage sales, which we love to do, which we'll probably be doing that more this weekend, the holiday weekend. It's just our favorite thing to do. I had a kind of a fun little testimony. While we were garage sailing, we pulled up to a house. I felt all automatically, I felt a pull on my heart for this woman that was doing the garage sale. I noticed that she had a back brace and a neck brace on, and she was really, really sweet. I could just tell that from her I haven't even talked to her, I didn't even know anything about her, um, but my wife got out to go look around the garage sale, and, but again, I felt a pull in my heart, you know, because I'm in, in connection with God's heart, to go out there, and my goal was to just pray for her, because I think um, that's part of what our goal here is to do, is not just live, but live in God's best. And what that does, when we're living in God's best, it actually also affects everything around us because we're colliding atmospheres, we're creating colliding realities of heaven and earth. And so if we're doing it, if we're listening to God's heart and we're listening to what He wants us to do, we, it actually can affect everybody around us. And that was the goal uh, from the very beginning, was to bring heaven here. So anyways, I got out and we talked for a little while and then I just said before we left, I said, you know what, I just want to pray for you. I feel like, is that okay with you? And she just, you could tell she just like was touched and she started crying instantly. She said, yes, yes, please, you have no idea. My life is just kind of a mess right now and I would love that. And so me and my wife were able to pray over her um, and kind of just speak identity over her and she just was blown away. She said, you guys have no idea how much I needed that. And I was able to tell her, you know, kind of like some, some specific things, like there's a lot of lies being spoken to you right now. That there's a deceiver out there who's trying to get you to believe those lies. And she just agreed. She said, yeah, you're exactly right. And I said, you have to know who you are, your identity, and that you are not that person. You are loved by God. You are not that person that is being spoken over that, that's a lie. She just was crying. But it was a cool testimony, you know, it wasn't like supernatural, though I have no idea, you know, what happened after I left, but she was just touched. I could see it, she just could not stop thanking us, and you could tell that God had her, and she said, you know, again, that she, she had no idea how much she needed that. And I just want to encourage you guys out there, you know, our goal, like our ministry probably isn't gonna be the same as everybody else's ministry. Like some people feel feel the nudge to go and hit the streets and preach the gospel. And while it's probably not my heart, you know, it's okay. That's okay that it's not our mission or our ministry. But part of our ministry at all times is seeking the Lord. And the Lord is gonna give us an impression on our heart to go speak to somebody when that time comes. And it's our job to actually be obedient because and like I was telling my wife this, like earlier, was we will never see and we will never know the power of God unless we are obedient to, to trying it. Like he's almost asking us, test me, test me on this, go and do this and see what happens. And most of the time it's our own fear that gets in the way of that. But it was good and I want to actually do more of these testimonies of just what happens and probably be bringing them up as we go but this is part of the kingship life is that we not only want to live pursuing God but with that again what I said earlier it actually brings heaven here in that reality and so it's just that's what we want to do uh, I just want to share that with you guys as well so thanks for watching please subscribe to more videos subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already like the video and uh, yeah we'll be seeing you guys later